Welcome everybody to episode twenty four of Flavorful Review. Two four. Look at that. Get some Canadian Christmas Eve. <laughs> Get toasty. Mm. Bro as many twenty four references as possible. That show with Keith or Sutherland. <laughs> oh so God. intense. Uh, I never watch it. No. Or that medical show, Forty Eight Hours. That's like twenty four double. Forty eight hours part two, starring Eddie Murphy. That's a good one. Is that really a movie? Yep. Sucks. Another Eddie Murphy, hours. what happened to you? Not part what happened to you? I don't know. All right, everybody. So today we have a couple of sweet-ass books. We got uh, first on the board, Docket. on the artist board, is uh, All-Star Western, number three? Tree. 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 Look at the tree. So what did you guys Six. think of this one? Jonah Hex and uh, Armadeus Arkham. The Back. odd couple <laughs> of the DC yeah, relaunch. What would you, you think? I'm enjoying it. I mean... Jonah Hex is just a complete asshole to everybody who doesn't care about what anybody thinks or whatever anybody like, pretty crazy. wants. He's just going to beat up shit. I'm not sure if whether sort of ending the previous arc and just jumping right into the next arc in a single issue yeah. alone. It's a little really? weird. Yeah. But, I mean, it yeah. might it might kind of carry over. Like, this might kind of mesh together. So, basically, Jonah Hex is like, yeah, we caught the guys from the, the crime yeah. religion. And uh, I don't need you anymore, Arkham. And he's like, but I love you so much. But we're like, uh, to connect. I thought, <laughs> I thought we made a real connection. And Jonah Hex, Hex is like, fuck you, man. The only thing I want to connect is my dick to a hooker or something. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and then uh, he's like, I got to find these guys I came to Ar- uh, Gotham, yeah, to for. Gotham for. And then he finds them. And then he's like, evening, gents. And then that's it. It ends. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. This one, not too... There's a drive-by shooting with a Gatling yeah, gun. Yeah, which is amazing. Drive-by shooting in history like, with yeah. a Gatling gun. <laughs> <laughs> it made yeah. me feel like I was playing Red Dead Redemption. Gotham for life! Oh. That, was, that was a good one. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. The art, I thought, was really cool. I like how the ink lines was like, was, like so thick and stuff. When it introduced those three people that um, Jonah Hex wanted to kill, and there was those weird, like, wavy, like, almost yeah. watery, inky yeah. backgrounds... And now fused with like the smoke gun. That was yeah, very that nice was cool. detail. Was made cool. made everything seemed ominous. I like that. Yeah, it was badass. You guys should check it out. I really like Jonah Hex. I think I might pick up previous issues of Jonah Yeah, Hicks. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, get get some of those bat clogs, you know. Bat clogs. I thought you were saying bat claws. Yeah. <laughs> bat claws. It's in the bat claws. You gotta read Jonah Hex if you wanna know. <laughs> Although the movie, not so good. So Never saw it. Yeah, That's Megan Fox. No, no interest. Got Megan Fox, who cares? No interest. She probably smells like barbecue sauce. <laughs> what? You just look at her. She like looks like she smells like different. You know what I mean? Like barbecue sauce or something, like smoky barbecue sauce. Sure, I'm sure there are men that would love that. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't want. I like too. my women to smell like my food. <laughs> that's gross. That's that's gross. Yeah. That doesn't sound right. I don't know. Smell like cookies or something. Mm, I don't know. But you know who who would Am smell I right? cookies? No. Fuck you cookies, guys. Peaches Fuck. and cream. I like fish. <laughs> Sorry. Moving on yes. to X Men Wolverine and the X Men number two. <laughs> so the Hellfire Club they're still fucking shit up. So like yeah, we're gonna Wolverine take two. over this thing. We're taking over this town. <laughs> and they just start playing cowboys from hell. And like these fucking Frankenstein people come with flamethrowers and they're like burning bitches down. Yeah, I like how the. The, uh, they have no qualms about making these children as evil as possible. Yeah. yeah. Just to completely contrast the fact that they're kids. It's crazy. Like, just oh, the little girl's like, uh, can we hear this up? I got penguins that I want to bash your brains <laughs> yeah. in. Can we speed this like, up a bit? Come on, people. But, um, like, oh, you kids. You said this so then uh, 
So the Frankenstein people are killing stuff, and the Ice Man's like, "I got this." Bobby saves the day, and he makes like a whole bunch of ice, uh, ice people. clones. Yeah, and people are like, "What the fuck? How Could you, you doing always this? do this?" Like, I guess. He's like, yeah, I yeah, know. Know. You whatever. Have a hunch, you go on the hunch, and then you make out with Kitty Pride. Yeah, and he makes yeah. up with Kitty Pride. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, maybe that's who gets pregnant. You remember how we we're we we're talking yeah. about that in the previews review? I saw that. And uh, she gets pregnant. <gasps> Santa. Considering all those aliens on the cover, though, I assume just one of those aliens impregnated her. Wow. Yikes. This isn't Je- this isn't Japan, buddy. <laughs> yeah. No tentacle <laughs> rape. Teenage here. girls just don't <laughs> get <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> fucking. Uh, no, it's like the aliens, like alien chest bursters. Oh, so, yeah, okay. Uh, Only it's belly bursters. Yeah, this isn't. Uh, Utero bursters? <laughs> Utero bust. <laughs> yes. So, the, at the end, um, Karako. Karaka Kakoa. There's Kikoa. a living island. That's yeah. all you island. need to know. And he fucking comes out of the ground, and that's what's on the cover. But like, a beast is like, how did I build this on top of a living thing? Like, I get it. I'm good. <laughs> but how <laughs> did like, I? He's like, how did I do this? But like, honestly, how does that happen? How do they not know that there's a fucking living thing? Convenient story thread, perhaps. I, I guess, guess the kids <laughs> pretty much predict. What well, actually no. I was gonna say that the kids predicted they would rebuild the school, but in the last issue, the leader of them was like, "The one thing I never predicted you would do is restart the school." Yeah. So like, <laughs> where'd the island come from? I don't know, man. I mean, Remember the once. kids summoned it somehow, but but like, I think it was there because yeah. you were talking about that's the first villain or first the creature they fought in yeah. the original X Men. So like, hey, when they upped up when, the team, when we killed Wolverine. it here, let's build a building on top of it. Sick, or, you know, it's significant of our smart. past. And the Wolverine's like, I'm not a smart guy. I'm not smart. Ah, I, I don't know. I'm I just eat beef jerky. On this. <laughs> Smell like beef jerky. <laughs> Him and uh, fucking Megan Fox should just drinking barbecue sauce, eating beef jerky. Wow. Yeah. Now, this book's greatest strength is essentially it's throwing right. balls to the walls yeah. like crazy ideas, mm-hmm. and just. All while in this almost like sitcom format of like Wolverine trying to get the school up this code. Gotta. <laughs> Meanwhile, like the p- those two older people <laughs> that were observing the school yeah. turn into uh, pterodactyl. What was it? Sauron. Yeah, and uh, the Wendigo. Yeah, the Wendigo. Yeah. Crazy. They're like, right. gonna wake up with one hell of a headache. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like where this is going. It's just nonsense. It's yeah, just fun. Yeah, it's fun. Pick the it art is fun. I don't oh, know why people are so hating good. on it. But the one thing. I I kind of don't like about Jason Aaron's art is that Jason we're not Aaron Jason Aaron, sorry Chris Piccolo yeah. yeah Jason Aaron wrote it Chris Piccolo drew it is that like so, there's so much going on in each panel and he tries to cram so much into each page that sometimes it's weird yeah to especially like the really on. small panels yeah. where it doesn't have a lot of expansion what's actually happening it gets really confusing he's no Jeff Darrow's yeah. that's for sure Geoff but still it's like <laughs> at the same time it's its weakness but its strength. Geoff. Yeah, because just all this crazy, just poppy art in your eyes. It's true, I liked it though. It's great. It's good. Uh, but another book that was really good, Fantastic Four issue six hundred. So they were, they were just doing oh. uh, was it FF? Like they relaunched with FF. Yeah. And yeah. They're like, you know what? We lied to you. We're actually on issue six hundred. And he's like, what? That doesn't. Uh, make I'm sorry. I thought well, this was a number one. You yeah. think, think we're yeah. gonna let this go? This fucking. Oh. Marvel does that a lot. They just change numbers like crazy. Like, we think never. Shit. If you see a number one now, don't think it's yeah. anything. <laughs> don't come into the store and be like, "Hey, can I buy that number one first printing?" Because nobody. Oh, cares. you mean issue number four thirty two? Yeah, yeah, you can get issue number. Four. <laughs> nobody cares. Number one means nothing anymore. Look, we all know this. Comic book industries just manipulate numbers to boost sales. It's true. That's what they always do. Occupy see next issues. Uh, Marvel. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we will not take this. I want. Everything in sequence. <laughs> no more number ones. Can Drum we talk circle. about the book? No, what do you, yeah, think the book? What do you think of the book? It's a collection of stories. Yeah. Written by a whole bunch of people. Drama uh, should we say spoilers? People. No. No? Because okay. this one's pretty big. I mean, you got to read this one. I'm going to say this. If you have not been reading Hickman's Fantastic Four run or Future Foundation, love this boosh. <laughs> boosh, yeah. boosh, yeah. boosh. Every story is like... It's almost built to be the, like this almost standalone thing, but like it's really not. It's pretty heavily involved in the mm-hmm. continuity. I, don't know, I think they got to number six hundred, so like let's just you know make it worth it. Eh. Let's do something big. I can I can definitely. I can so um, I can appreciate. That. So what happens in the beginning parts? 
Uh, basically, the Scree are trying to take over Manhattan because everybody takes over Manhattan. That's like the thing to do. The Manhattan the greatest like epicenter film. for alien yeah. invasion. And then uh, they're trying to break through the negative zone so they can fully come over. And then something happens. And then guess who's back? Who never Ross. dies? Boy, oh, fucking told you not to. I fucking I hate you. <laughs> and, and then, was uh, anyone really not nobody thinking even, was going to come back? Mm, who's true, back? True, true. It's uh, uh, Aunt May. Back. She's in the negative zone. <laughs> Ultimate alt uh, Aunt May came through. And she's like, I'm way more attracted. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So then, and then after that, they like talk to um, Galactus and stuff. Yeah, that was pretty trippy. Essentially, it's weird. Like, I didn't even understand it because like the Asgardians hit a seed that is actually another Galactus, and if that Galactus is born, he will kill the current Galactus. But because he's immature. Like a spoiled little brat, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Essentially, he doesn't he doesn't give a shit, so he's just gonna eat everything. Megalactus. That's that's silly. That's, that's a little silly. Hate. But I mean, they do show uh, Galactus kind of half costumed, which is pretty cool. When he was birthed at the beginning of yeah, the universe, which is awesome. Which is just a full naked man, like adult <laughs> naked man. Just nah. <laughs> why am I not close? <laughs> wah wah. That's it. Is that how he space. cries with the warrior. <laughs> I'm well, he's a giant, like adult male, <laughs> but apparently being birth. So it's it's fucked up. This fucked up. But so, would you recommend this? Planets book? are actually after birth. Like even for someone who doesn't follow Fantastic Four, and someone who does, would you recommend? For this? someone who doesn't, no, because no. like, I don't, I yeah. don't read it for a reason. Yeah, I don't sucks. care. I'm sorry. Friends? If if you've been reading Fantastic Four, obviously you're gonna pick this up. If you haven't. I will say there is one really funny part, but it has nothing to do with anything <laughs> within yeah. the story. So it's all good. Uh, thumb through it for that. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> and thumb through it for all the different artists, too. I think the art's really... Yeah, there, really are a number, there is a number of artists yeah. and writers. It's a very it's good cool. celebration of Fantastic Four. You know, good but point. only it is if you've been keeping it's up with Fantastic Four. Uh, celebrate. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So what would you recommend out of all three? We're bringing the X-Men. Yeah. Jonah Hex also. Yeah. Ulster. Mm. Western. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with Fantastic Woo. Four just because it's so epic. Can't get it wrong with epic. But it is super sized. 100 pages. It's yeah, 8 bucks. 100 pages. So, I mean, Whoa. Yeah. You're paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> you better be into Fantastic Four. Yeah. This isn't, you if it's bet. in your poll, this isn't a regularly priced book. <laughs> yeah. For real. So, uh, anything else this week that you're interested in? Uh, Flash is coming out. Flash, Flash coming is cool. Out. Aquaman. Aquaman. No. Animal Man, Aquaman. Animal Man's Swamp not. Thing. Animal Man was reprinting. No, uh, wait, no, no, not, not Swamp Thing. Yeah, it's next week. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Nothing, eh? Sucks. Can't think. Aquaman picked that up. It's getting good. It's getting good. Getting good. <laughs> uh, so we'll uh, end this here yeah. on uh, three. One, two, three. Flavorful sauce.